Hello, it's Crazy Rusty VW. How's everyone doing? I hope everyone's doing great through the, this horrible time of lockdown and the COVID and everything. Um, so today we're going to be pulling the Mark II Golf engine out, um, getting everything ready, sort of prepping it for cleaning, and obviously take the engine out. The engine is done, so I'm going to probably either scrap it or sell it really cheap. But obviously, main thing is start taking the engine out. So today we'll obviously strip out what we don't need um, and also you might even see some footage of like clearing out what's actually in the car which because to be honest I haven't got a clue what's in it so it's been sat for three years so we might actually find something interesting in there so let's jump to that bit so after I finish my cup of tea I think we'll focus on what's actually inside the car So basically this is almost everything we got out of the vehicle. Uh, got lower valance, splitters, eyebrows, uh, seat belts, there's some TDI stuff there, original 1.3 stuff there, 1.6 airbox, a TDI side mount intercooler that looks like there's an inlet as well. There's a pedal from something, possibly GTI, uh, some a ABS and power steering stuff. As said, I don't know if it, it might be an ASZ, it might be a uh, PD150 ECU and some other extra bits. Um, Speedo, I think that's Mark, it looks like it's a Mark 4 Golf, so we got that. They obviously got some of the middle pieces, interior, all got bits and pieces, 16 valve inlet. I think it's an AQY inlet, I think that's also an 8 valve as well. Could be wrong, somebody could correct me uh, for that. Dog bone, got a subframe in there, got a GTI 8 valve um, full loom. We also had a gearbox in there which was an 8 valve and this I know this is solid it's a good gearbox um, in this box we managed to get in there I'm sure there's some plenty of spiders in there I'm not going to go in there too deep so yes yeah, got, got some springs and some goodies in there we also found a, a nice seat in there as well which we'll clean up might turn that into a workshop seat mm -hmm. and we also got here is the original GTI uh, tank so and by the sounds of it Oh, it's empty. So we're all right. We're good there. So yeah, th this is literally everything we got. Oh yeah, and don't forget we had the driver wheels in there as well. Uh, not for sale before anyone asks. Um, but yeah, this is everything we got in there. Um, if anyone wants an eight valve GTI engine with low miles, gearbox, wiring loom, ECU, all the goodies, everything like that, everything goes one, give me a shout on, on my Instagram ch channel. So yeah, we'll jump back and we'll start working on the car. It got everything out of the vehicle. Um, one of the seats was still attached, so we just placed the other one in there just to make it look alright. The parcel shelf supports are just sitting in there as well. But yeah, as you can see, the turrets are not too bad. There's a little bit of rust there and there, but to be honest with you, I think I'll sand most of that off, you know. So I'm not too too concerned about that. And that's right as well. That's it's a really nice and clean as well. Again, got to get carpet in here. Got to get uh, turret carpets. I've got a feeling I've got a set of Mark 3s that probably could make the fit in here, which that would be fine. So yeah, we'll jump over to the, the rear. Again, like I said, they're just sitting in there, but you can tell they're lovely old 1980s. Oh, pretty horrible. There's a couple of rips and stuff. It, obviously, previous an person must have had an animal or something. So yeah, there's that. And then we're in here. Look, we've got a lot of mould. Mainly door cards, actually. There's nothing really much going on with the dash the cobwebs have actually saved the dashboard which is nice and i've always had this sort of covered up but yeah it definitely needs some door cards in here um these seats are coming out anyway uh definitely changing that gator that's horrible but yeah it's getting there we're that, that's obviously empty from inside out So yeah, today our aim is to try and get some of this engine dismantled. Uh, probably like mount, subframe, um, wheels off, stuff like that. Maybe we might even try and drag the car out of the way if we can. If we've got enough time, that is. There's no, no biggie. Been sitting there for quite a while. So 
So yeah, we, we'll, we'll be fine. So yeah, I'll just focus on at the moment with my assistant. Uh, we'll be doing, um, taking this engine out possibly. So I'll just do a little time capture with speed up and you can watch it from there. Just trying to do that top mount. Got that sleeve nut, but to be honest with you, most of that is fine. That's all I needed it to do. So now I can take it out from the bottom. So yeah, this is as far as I got so far. Again, didn't look like we're doing a lot. Just letting some bolts sink, uh, soak. Get all this off. Get all pipes off of the electronics, or electrics. I won't say electronics, but electrics. Um, got blood ball joint, the uh, what's it called drive shaft to come out, um, uh, various other bits and pieces, but it's mostly mostly not done. But we'll get there after lunch, too hungry right now. So, after today, uh, a few hours of messing around taking the engine out, me and Paul managed to get it all out as one. Um, obviously, with the shafts all attached to the gearbox, it was just a lot easier. Originally we were going to film everything, but um, battery died on the phone, so we decided, obviously we can't do anything about that, but you know, so you only got half footage. Um, the wiring room still got to come out, the dash has still got to come out, but there's not much to come off, obviously the subframe, which is going to be fun to get out. We had one, one snap bolt down there, which is, you know, it's, it doesn't matter too much, so, uh, what else? So yeah, we've got subframe to come out, wiring room to come out, uh, most of that we're going to clean all this originally i was going to paint it but i think actually most of it is just it's cruddy dirt so so hopefully clean my ride we can just test this product and see how it comes out but we'll do that next week there's no rush for it at the moment and um, the main thing is get the subframe out uh, next week get the wiring loom harness out we've got the mark 3 subframe to sort out and then we've got to sort these dry shafts not dry shafts the um, wishbones out and swap them over before I do all that, I'm going to obviously mock it up, make sure it fits, and then we'll paint paint everything as well. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much everything we got done today, which I think was a nice little result. Sorry about all the bird noise in the background. If anyone's interested in a £50 um, 1.3 engine, there is one sitting there. It's, restrict, or it's strictly spares repairs only. Um, obviously, like I said, somebody put too much oil in there, so I suspect it's hydro-locked. Or even if you can get it going, you know, hey, it's a cheap motor, um, or even a spares engine. Uh, again, I'm going to keep the carburetor on it, the engine mount I want to keep. Um, so yeah, there, there's a few bits on there that is useful. Uh, gearbox over here, sorry, excuse the mess, there's a lot of things that came out of that car. Uh, gearbox is this one. So yeah, we, we got this one off. Um, God, I need to stop saying, um, couldn't be bothered to take the dry shafts out, it's just I'm being lazy. It's not a bad old gearbox. I know it works and everything because we, we drove it. Um, so yeah, that, that's all right. So if you're interested in that, give me a shout on that. Cross member, I don't know if we're going to use that one or the, the GTI. I think we have to use that one. Uh, so yeah, that, that's fine on that. And then I think that is literally everything. Oh yeah, the, yeah there was another issue. Obviously we, we had to chop one of the bolts out on this. But obviously to find out that there was an issue going on with the spring it broken and uh, it literally fell off as soon as we took it out so that's pretty naft so yeah it was just as well we was going to put some coilovers on it so yeah it's been busy got the gearbox that's going to be sold or we'll put on ebay hopefully somebody will buy it i've uh, got the gti 8 valve engine to go in and sell as well and we've got this little weapon down here so I screw, like I said, excuse the mess, we, we've been breaking cars to make space for other things and steal projects, or steal things from the other projects. So you've got this weapon, 1.3, uh, I presume it's like an 8 valve, can't mean much, much, well there's not anything nice you can say about it, somebody's put some really awful blue and red bolts on it. Carburetor's staying, but the rest is for sale, I want to keep the mount as well, but yeah everything else is for sale. I've even got a start mode for it, you know, that could be thrown in as well. But yeah, finally, really happy with this. Uh, got to get that exhaust off as well. I won't have much to do. But yeah, this, this should come together quite quickly. Fingers crossed everything goes to plan. So 
So yeah, engine's out. Um, that's pretty much it. We wrap it up from there. Monday morning, we'll try and get back up here. We'll do some more uh, to the subframe. Do the wiring lane. The dash is coming out. And then I'll start messing around with with this one. We'll, we'll start messing around getting um, the engine and stuff out of this. Or even like start mocking things up. So yeah, we've got quite a lot to go or going on. Uh, we'll try and do as best as we can on, on footage. It's kind of hard sometimes. I just want to get on with it. So yeah, for now that's everything. If you like it, like, share, subscribe. And if you don't like it, piss off. Oh. <laughs>